an infinite grid of one ohm resistors. A while ago I helped my son to study for an electrical engineering test and explained to him how to calculate the electrical resistance in some network of resistors. At some point I remembered what I heard some 40 years ago when I was studying this myself, that if you build an infinite grid of electrical resistors with one ohm, that the resulting resistance between two diagonal points is 2 over pi ohm. So I started to google around and see how this could be calculated. It turns out that with a simple trick it is easy to calculate the resistance between two nearby points. The resistance is just 1 over 2 ohms. But the diagonal case is much harder and there were no real good explanations online on how to calculate this. So this video is here to fill in the gap and I will try to provide an understandable explanation for the complicated calculation. If you do not know much about electrical resistance or advanced mathematics you should still be able to follow it. Even if you are not so interested in the electrical aspects, there are plenty of pure mass aspects and many of the tools here have some use in many other fields as well. For example, the same equations are used to approximate many other physical problems, for example heat equations or electrostatics. Also the same equations are used in computer graphics for the detection of edges in pictures, so it should be useful. Along the way I hope to be able to provide you with everything you need. I want to provide you with some video, some nice animations, some Python Jupyter notebook and some Python code. I plan to divide the videos into four chapters. So this is the first chapter and I, here I will explain the basics of electrical resistance and simple electrical networks. So you will hear about basics of electricity, voltage, potential, current, resistors and Ohm's law, connecting multiple resistors together, Kirchhoff's law, more complicated resistor networks, the superposition principle, an easier infinite network of resistors and finally we will try to solve the infinite grid of resistors with the easy case of two neighboring resistors. In the second chapter I will show you the tools that I initially wanted to use to solve the problem. Generating functions and the set transform. So here you will learn the basics of set transform and generating functions. We will apply them to Fibonacci numbers and we will calculate an easier infinite network with infinitely many resistors in a one dimensional case. In the third chapter we will look at differential equations in instead of difference equation. Interestingly, the solutions there are much easier. Then we will learn about green functions and then constructing the special green function that will help us solve our problem. The last chapter will be used to solve the, the integral that we found in the previous chapter. So this is a little bit boring and technical, but still in order to completely solve the problem, we will have to look at the final integral. So you see there is a lot of ground to cover. When I googled for online solutions I only found two pages that posted a solution. Both of them were not easy to understand and often pulled in results literally out of the blue. This is a general problem with documentation on the internet. One cannot assume too much on how much people already know. This is why I want to go into the details on the basics that you need to find the answer for this problem.